Okay, tell shopping. So recently I went uh, with my ID to the Tao shops. So we he actually fixed uh, Sun Bi Huat. Okay. Um, anyway, currently I have two IDs because um, the first ID that we are appointed to, we find that he's not very experienced and we're a little bit unsure on how we're going to work with him. Um, he's, I think he's probably very, very young and I find that a lot of times when it comes to like appointments, um, you know, there's this like change of appointments and stuff like that. And I don't know whether it's a Gen Z thing or it's like, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, we, 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 feed, we gave our feedback and then they assigned uh, us another ID. So the other two of them will work together with us. So it's awesome to have two IDs actually or when you're working with a team so that you can get more help and more like assistance and advice. So anyway, we are, uh, we actually went to uh, Sunbi Huat at Ho Guan Road. So Sunbi Huat has this like whole building um, that sells tiles, three levels. They have another outlet, I think, in the east side. Um, and the, the other popular tile shop we went to was Hafari as well. But we went to the outlet at Jurong East at Tra Trade Hub 21. So the outlet is a little bit smaller. The bigger one is definitely at Tampanese. So uh, we went to shop for mainly the kitchen tiles and the uh, toilet tiles. So kitchen tiles. The flooring for the kitchen, we kept it, we used the HDB one, but nonetheless, I think we might change. I do not know at this point um, because I think right now they're just saying that a lot of tiles are out of stock. So that's why they wanted us to go and go down to see the tiles and reserve in advance. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that when we see the overall house and design, when we get our keys again, uh, we might make some changes. But anyway, um, this is what we came up with. We brought home some tile samples. So the whole process is that when we enter the, the shop, they kind of like uh, tell us which um, tiles to go for, like the size of tiles. So you might first want to ask yourself what size of tiles do you want. You want the big slabs or you want that smaller tile. So for me, definitely I'm going for the bigger one because it's easier to wash, less grout lines for sure. And it has a more seamless look when you kind of put it against the... Uh, war. And because we are going for that very raw, minimalist, brutalist, um, I don't know, wabi-sabi kind of look. So we just wanted some muted colors that very screed, uh, washed, like, you know, kind of colors. Yeah. So we went for something like this, this gray. So we kind of also, we also brought the design with us, like the 3D renderings with us. So we, you know, we kind of like choose uh, based on this. And also... I think really, really very important is that if you want to quicken up that towel, that towel shopping um, experience, I mean that, that, how, that whole process, if you want to shorten it or quicken it, it's always best to have a color palette with you so that you can always check against it because I realize that sometimes we get distracted, like you know, so where we see certain tiles and it's so beautiful and we want it in our house but then actually it doesn't really suit our team so it's very very important to stick and and be very very specific because the tiles there are so beautiful and sometimes you know you might just be looking at it and wondering like how can i incorporate the tiles inside but anyway so we went for this like screed look um the sample tiles you can't really see that whole overall feel but when you are there they give you that whole slab of tile where you can see the texture and always remember to actually feel it because um, for instance, if you are looking for toilet tiles, you don't want something that is too rough, especially for the walls. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard to kind of like scrub down. Um, but for the flooring, you, want, you might want something a little bit rough so that it's, it has more like anti-slipping properties. So therefore, it's, it, it, I guess it, it's just personal preference, like whether you want rough texture, you want that kind of look or you want smooth, it's, it's, told, it's entirely up to you. So... When it comes to tiles, it's always best to go down in person to have a look because you must remember that tiles is not just the color but also the texture and under different lightings, you know, it looks different. Like now I, when I bring home the tiles, when I see it, you know, on camera is different and when I go there, the lighting there is warm at the, at the showroom there, the tile showroom there is very warm. So everything look, gives off that different feel. So it's always important to bring home some samples and then maybe like, you know, bring it to your HTB BTO and then like place against the wall and see whether it fits. So for the master bed uh, room, we are going for something gray. We want a little bit darker. So therefore, 
and for the flooring we want like something like wood because i think um wood would not say wooden tiles but it kind of, the wood textured tiles um this is pretty amazing because uh, when you step on it it really does feel like wood and I, I just like that kind of feeling so but i don't want too dark although um a walnut uh, color a dark walnut color would actually go well with gray but i decided to go for a very muted kind of wood almost ash like so it has a very cool gray tone a bluish tone to it that fits this grayish color i do not want to go something a bit too yellow for example or too warm like for example this one although it it, it, it can match but it's a little bit warm for me a little bit too um warm is too a little bit too yellowish that tint so i would i would want something a bit more muted so that it looks a little bit more pleasing to the eyes a little bit more aesthetic so that's that and then we chose um, for the common toilet we wanted that dual tone effect is quite nice that the idea actually designed for the dual tone so we look for we went for this um okay it's this one is a little bit rough that screed look but again it's a very light gray tone and then we found we went to hafari and found this i think this is from hafari Detroit beach yeah this is a Detroit beach from Hafari so but the problem is that the towel size is different this is 60 by 60 so it's a very large square piece of towel but for this one we only managed to found um, the 30 by 60 towels so it's the rectangular it's not the squarish kind um, uh, I mean when that when the two towels are of different sizes it might look a little bit um, funny unless this size the tiles is smaller you're going for the subway tiles and then maybe this one is bigger so we are, we are still thinking whether we should go for dual tone or we should just go for that single uh, grayish tone and then after that we will also go with the uh, same wooden tile fini uh, you know finishing tiles with a wooden finish for the flooring because um, I think it's also good that to have some uniformity like something that is common that is that ties up the whole house together so the toilets can have different tiles different look but maybe for the flooring we can standardize to use something like that and then for the black uh, splash for the kitchen like you have the tabletop quartz countertop and then you have this backsplash over here we are going for tiles some people go for glass but glass have that very tinted bluish um that the reflective thing where actually they say that or that either the greenish or bluish but you can actually remove that tint that they say that there's a way that they can actually remove it but we will still prefer like tiles because of the texture and it gives a little bit more of the raw feel so we go for something a bit more muted like slightly towards the brown gray side it's like very very in between and this is how it looks like um i kind of quite like it because it has also a little bit of dimpled effect in a way i'm not too sure about the clean cleaning wise but i guess if i don't use the kitchen so much i think this is great so and they mentioned that maybe for the uh, kitchen cabinet the laminates will go for this uh, it looks great right but then i realized that it might not really fit with the whole overall theme of the house if i'm going for this kind of like wood color for the toilet i'm not too sure i mean i can be a bit more accepting and more open to different wood shades but I'm not too sure whether I might want to go for a little bit darker, a little bit more grayish tone rather than this. But this also looks great as well. And I'll update you guys again when we are like more or less firmed up with the second rendering. They did promise us that they will do another 3D rendering for us. And hopefully by next month we'll receive the keys to our house and then I can do a video of the HDB house tour. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.